Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already guessed, my name is the Game and Hedgehog, and welcome back to the Ravenport tutorial series for episode four, Soil Care. We're gonna crack on with that in a second because I've got lots of things to do. So this might just be just a short one. Uh, we'll see how we get on. But first, can I start off by saying a massive get well soon to the Krusty Fox. He's a little bit under the weather at the moment, so why not go and give him a like, a share, and a subscribe to show you love his channel and wish him a speedy recovery. You can find him in a, in the my channels list. He's under other amazing YouTubers. So anyway, let's just crack on with soil care because I've got a lot uh, to do today. So welcome to soil care lesson. In this lesson, you will learn how to take optimal care of your soil to get the best crop yield. After three harvest cycles, your field needs lime. Lime can be bought in pallets from the shop and spread over the field with the spreader. As usual, go to your tractor, attach the weight and the spreader, then turn it on and drive over your field. Press X to enter the vehicle. Press X to enter the vehicle, sorry. Press A to attach the tool and left back and left back and X turns the second tool on and off. Let's jump in this tractor. It's, it's a red one. Uh, is that a case? Oh, it might be a case. It is. It's the case 7210 Pro. And we've got the Bredel spray. So we'll jump in. Have we got a front weight? Oh, I have. Find out what that is in a second there. So we'll jump in. We're going to attach the sewer. Is it the sewer? SP1000 weight. Get some beacons turned on as we always do. Test the horn. Um, let's go in cab a second. We'll attach the Bredel K165. Awesome. That's done. And then we're going to drive forward. Now I recommend do not turn it on right now because the um, the line will just spread and you're going to end up wasting what you've put in. So we'll turn it on just I would say about now, and I've missed the edge already because I thought it had a wire selection, so I might have to go back. Yeah. So I hope you all seen the stream on uh, Monday, just gone, over on Twitch. We were streaming Carmes and Farm by Oxygen David. It was quite a, it was a really good stream. Uh, we started with a million pound off, so we didn't start small. But so sometimes it just has to be done. So nearly halfway, spread some line there. Always try and make sure that you, that you turn it off. I'm sorry if you've just heard my uh, watch send me a notification through. My bad, didn't to turn it off. It's sometimes quite hard to judge how to um, line up again. It's not something that I've really thought about. Let me know how you do it, guys, down in the comments, that'd be awesome. And we still need to find out what the best way for turning around a tractor on cultivating and plowing from episode one. So it looks like we're going to have to go back up these little edge strips. And don't forget you can also hire a worker to do this job for you. But in the tutorials you can't, so that's unfortunate. But it's sometimes nice just to get out and do some farm. Great! For, for some crops you should also plough after the harvest. Let's take a look. After harvesting corn, potatoes, sugar beet and sugar cane, it's a good idea to plough the feet. Right then, track right then, tractor. Plough, wait, let's go. Press A to attach the tool, left back and B, lower or raises the selected tool. Now these are I'm not a fan of these type of ploughs. It's the ag it's the Agramaz something other is it gonna the Agramaz something or other isn't really a Bottle number. Can I see it there? Is it 
in the nope. I will find out when we jump in, and I think we've got the same. Yeah, we've got the. I still think I'm saying that this wrong. The Soya 1000. Wait, was it? And we've also got the Massey Ferguson 77 19 Dyna 6. Jump in. Sua. Is it Sua? SB 1000? I don't know how you pronounce it. I just played the game, mate. Beacons as always. I will give it a bit of a toot or honk, whatever you want to call it. And it's the Agrimaz POH5. I'm guessing it's a 45. We should have five uh, furrows. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant attach. Now, when using this type of cultivator, I'm going to quickly show you how to um, some little tips. Um, if you do left back an X, you can turn the plow like so. Now, I think. What you want is if you're heading in the direction that we're going to be going, you want this type of plow like this. So the first furrow closest to the tractor touches is not touches, sorry, is lined up with the right side wheel. So we'll because in my head, if you line up there also not going to plow up the grass unless you've got a plow that allows crop for allow create fields so we'll drive forward then we'll get to the end of the row and we'll uh, flip the plow like what i just did see it's already going off you want to try and keep this as neat as possible I don't know if it's the other way. Let's find out. So what we'll do is we'll just lift it for now. Yeah, I think they're gonna have to go. Yeah, yeah the other way. But you see how it's not straight. If you guys have got any tips, just drop me a, just drop me a comment and just say get get it right, this is how I well. This is a farm and stable. This is your bread and butter. So let's get this done. See, you just end up missing absolute parts of it. There we go. Good. Remember to avoid. Remember to avoid a thirty percent yield malice or negative must spread lime after three harvests which is 15% for lime plow after corn potatoes sugar beets sugar cane and harvest and sugar cane harvest which gives you a 15% for plow I told you guys that would be a really short one because I've got things to do anyway thank you again for watching uh, for taking the time to watch Raven Pop tutorial series has been great so far. I hope you're all having fun. And don't forget, you can check us out on Twitter, which is TG Hedgehog Capital T Capital G Capital H, which we've got here. And left, awesome. And don't forget, you can check us out on the Instagram, which is at TG Hedgehog or in the other case. And at the moment, we are currently posting the daily mod updates. And new, new mods on there and check them out. We've also got the Facebook page where you get your uh, mod testing list daily. And don't forget, you've got Twitch as well, which is at TG Hedgehog, TG score Hedgehog. And you stream from 7 pm to 9 pm uh, GMT. But for now, guys, that's been great. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again on the, the next one. Bye.
Travis?